Hello, I'm Shannon Switzer and this is your Santa Barbara Newswire update. The use of medical marijuana has been legal in California since 1996 with the passage of Prop 215, putting state law in direct conflict with federal law. Throughout California, as well as here in Santa Barbara, this legal conflict has played itself out in the form of crackdowns and raids on cannabis clubs and dispensaries, which are providers to a wide range of marijuana-using patients. Since the summer of 2007, the Drug Enforcement Administration and Department of Justice have focused their attentions on the landlords whose tenants are dispensaries. The DEA has sent at least 300 letters to landlords in California threatening potential seizure of property and assets for renting to cannabis companies. In Santa Barbara, most of the approximately 10 dispensaries have been evicted or closed in advance of legal action due to these letters. This caused Representative Lois Capps to send a letter asking U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder to put an end to such tactics. The Obama administration recently reversed this intrusive policy when on February 26, Attorney General Eric Holder announced that the new American policy is to end federal interference in state medical cannabis laws, which includes an end to raids on dispensaries. This has been your Santa Barbara Newswire update. Remember to catch us right here on Channel 21 or check us out online at sbchannels.net. I'm Shannon Switzer and you've just been wired.